Okay, as part of Feeding Tube Awareness Week, I'm going to show you how I set up my feeding tube each morning. Um, if you haven't seen the previous video, I did about an hour long video explaining why I have a feeding tube and the whole reason behind it and everything else. Um, the syringe I just laid there is just full of water. And um, what I'm actually doing here is today is um, every so many days you change this extension piece that's on the outside that attaches to the Mickey button. So what I'm actually doing here is I'm pulling the tape off of it so I can remove it. Um, I apologize for the uh, GoPro sitting in the way here. I didn't realize I was blocking the camera, but I'll show you this from the other angle. But um, what I'm going to do here is I got it untaped. I'm just going to flush it with water. And what I actually did with the white thing is I clamped the tube off when I hooked the syringe up just so nothing comes out. And you just slowly push in the water. It's about 60, it's a 60 cc syringe, so um, whatever that is in ounces. So I'm going to push that in, I clamped it off, disconnect the syringe, put the cap back on. And like I said, this isn't something you do every morning, but you turn this a certain way. So you go that way, and it stops, and you pop it off. Simple as that. And uh, yeah, I got tape residue all over my stomach. So what I'm going to do here is this is just some alcohol rem or, uh, adhesive remover that helps to get rid of the uh, adhesive. And uh, it works out pretty good. Um, I'm going to put this real time so you can see how long this takes. Like I said, this part here isn't something I do every morning. This is something you do every three days. Um, and adhesive can be a pain in the butt to get off and it's annoying. So there's that. Um, this adhesive remover is like oil based. It almost smells like gun oil to me. Um, so it leaves a really oily residue. So I just do is I take an alcohol pad now and uh, wipe off the oily residue from the uh, adhesive remover. Um, it's kind of the technique I found it seems to work the best. Always you end up with 50 million black spots all over your stomach from adhesive. And yeah, that's uh, no fun. Um, like I said, I did shoot a previous video explaining the whole thing. I do really highly recommend you check that out. It's like an hour long video and I go through everything about it. And yeah, so this is kind of the boring part, but we got that taken care of. Okay, I just stepped off to the side here to actually grab a Q-tip because I forgot to set one out. Um, so these tubes all drain a little bit. They're basically a hole into your intestines. Um, the balloon helps them seal off pretty good, but um, you still get a little bit of drainage around them. And uh, taking a shower, it normally washes most of it off, but uh, I took a shower at this point probably about 12 hours ago, and I just kind of wanted to clean up underneath it because this is morning now, and what drained overnight. Um, it can kind of, it's almost like the boogers you get in the corner of your eye, that little green hard pieces, um, they kind of build up underneath the tube and that, and they can be in really annoying throughout the day and scratch you and make the tube really uncomfortable. So it's just better off just to clean it. it all I do is take a Q-tip, dip it in a little bit of water, and uh, clean off out around, underneath it and around it. And uh, that definitely makes it a lot more comfortable throughout the day and it doesn't take real long. It also allows me to clean off, seeing I got the extension off the right now, it allows me to clean off on where that sits. And um, yeah, just try to make everything, keep everything as clean as possible and uh, keep that as healthy and less infection. So there's uh, that. That is something I do every morning is clean underneath it. It takes maybe 30 seconds on most mornings. Um, so here we go, cleaning around it again. Seeing I don't got the extension in the way, I probably spent a little bit more time cleaning it this morning. And, uh, yeah. So I'm just going to wipe off what water I dripped down. Like I said, most mornings it doesn't take this long, but most mornings I can do this about 5 or 10 minutes. So here's like new extension. And uh, 
it's the same thing but now seeing this one is brand new there's nothing inside of it so what you do is you put all the caps on and then you uh, clamp it off or no you you put all the clamps on all right I cannot talk you put the caps on then you hook a syringe up to it and I'm just gonna go over the garbage can here and I'm just gonna flush a little bit of water through it just to push any air out of it so it's primed with water and not air um, there you go I'm gonna clamp it off and put the cap back on and then what I'm gonna do here in a second is put it on so just got another syringe full of water I just keep a cup on my uh, counter to fill up with water and here we got the tape finally so yeah this morning I wasn't really going fast I was actually I actually tried talking through this as I was going and it just did not work out so that's why I'm doing a voiceover um, yeah like I said I'm gonna do this real time I'm not really rushing not really going fast um, obviously I didn't put that extension on yet so here is the bag for the formula and I do five of these things a formula a day um, I do put three in the bag in the morning and I do two more around five o'clock put in the bag just so it's a little bit lighter throughout the day and you shake them up good I pull all the caps off and then these bags come kind of wrapped up and bundled up and the fastest way I found to get them fill is you just blow them a little bit if you don't do that and you try pouring the formula in it just makes a giant mess and it doesn't go in very fast and you gotta pour it in real slow so this way you can just dump it in real fast um, yeah so that is this yellowish cream colored goo is my breakfast dinner and lunch basically um, like I said, do three of these, or five of these a day, three in the morning, and I put three in around five o'clock, and we're pretty much good for about 15 hours. Um, so, I'll talk about it real quickly. In the, I actually have uh, gastroparesis, so my stomach does not empty the way it should. Um, so every time I eat, I get stomach aches, stomach cramps, feel nauseous, and what I'm doing here is just pushing all the air out of the bag. It just helps it to suck everything out of the bag and not end up with a bunch of air pockets. And um, I'm just going to set this up out of the way here for a second. Oh no. Okay. So there's a couple different ways you can prime these bags, and you can actually prime them with the pump. You can squeeze the bag and pinch that little blue piece here I'm pinching. That actually goes in the pump. But um, some mornings, it's just faster to just pinch it and suck on the tube and suck all the air out of it. A um, little faster. A little faster than squeezing the bag. A little less messy. And it's a heck of a lot faster than using the pump to prime the whole tube. Because if you use the pump to prime the whole tube, it takes like a minute for the pump to prime it. And you got to hold a button down the whole time. So... As you see, and I just pretty much prime that in like 15 seconds. So I'm going to set that up out of the way for right now. And I'm actually going to put the cap back on the end. And I can do this whole part faster if I'm in a hurry, but I'm obviously not really in a hurry this morning. Because I'm sitting here trying to untangle the knot of tubing. Um, yeah. So, what I was saying is, my stomach doesn't empty the way it should. It takes too long to empty, so every time I would eat, I would get nauseous and feel like I had to throw up. I'd have stomach aches, I'd have stomach cramps. I, it just was not fun. It was not a fun experience. It was not a fun year. I go all over this in the previous video. But um, after about eight months and me losing about 25% of my body weight, the uh, doctors finally decided to do something about it. And, uh, I had a surgical J-tube placed 
which is a feeding tube that goes directly into my intestines and bypasses my stomach. This way I don't end up with stomach cramps, I don't end up with stomach aches, and it uh, just basically bypasses my stomach and uh, does not allow, well it allows me to get my nutrition I need without having to eat and feel like crap. Um, and I kind of go through this all in the previous video, but now I'll put the extension in. So same thing, you line up these two little black marks and you push it in and twist it around and I'm going to kind of let myself a little bit of a loop there, kind of getting it where I want it. I'm going to grab my piece of tape I cut earlier and just tape that in place. The uh, whole thing with the tape is just uh, if you catch the tubing on anything or pull on it in a funny way or anything like that, it doesn't pull on the uh, button and possibly rip it out. So the tape is just like a safety feature, basically. And here again, I'm going to cl cl uh, clamp the line off, open up the cap, I'm gonna hook a syringe up to it again, unclamp it, flush it with water. This just makes sure that everything's still working right and that that extension is in the right way and it also just flushes the line again. So you actually don't feel this unless it's a little bit of a cold water. You can kind of feel the cold water once in a while but um, if it's room temperature water you don't even notice it. And same thing, clamp it off, disconnect the syringe, put the cap back on. And now we're going to grab our uh, bag of formula here. I actually stretched this line out just to make sure it's not wrapped up funny. It's so annoying when you get them all wrapped up and they don't twist right. Um, and here we go. So now this blue piece kind of hooks in that pump and it just goes around this uh, black piece that rotates. It's kind of like a peristaltic pump. So I got that all set up and I'm just clearing out my settings on my pump, getting my pump set right. And I'm just going to slide it off to the side. And now you can see I didn't suck it all the way to the end. There's still a bit of air in there. So I'm going to hold the prime button on the pump to prime it to the end, which you guys cannot see in this view. Um, yeah. And there we go to the end. Now back up again. And like I said, these lines are horrible. They got a lot of twists in them. Just make sure it's all twisted right. My line is still clamped off, so I'm just going to screw that in there. Like I said, I'm kind of watching the twist on the line. That makes it a lot easier to ball it up and keep it off to the side all day. And uh, there you go. It's connected. I hit start on the pump, and you should be able to see it go in. And there you go. So it goes in real slow throughout the day. It's basically like drip, 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 and then the pump stops and waits 30 seconds, 40 seconds, and then it'll run again, drip, 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 drip. It's not a lot at once, so it's real slow. Um, that's part of it having to go in the intestines. If it was a G tube or a NG tube, you could go in a lot faster. You could actually do what's called ballus feeding, which is where you put a whole bunch in at once because the stomach has the ability to expand and take that, but we can't do that because my stomach hates me. So we end up having to go in real slow. And um, here I just basically shoved in the pump in the backpack, hang the bag up in the backpack. This isn't anything special. It's no medical backpack or anything like that. They make backpacks specifically for these pumps, but this is just a hiking backpack with a water bladder and I just basically um, stick the pump in there and uh, it works out pretty good that it stays in there pretty good and it keeps its place and uh, we'll get that taken care of and we're pretty much set for the day basically the only other thing I do is I'll uh, actually coil up the line and I have a clip that I can actually attach it to me so it keeps everything all neat and tidy and you don't have three feet of line hanging off you and um yeah i'll be right back okay so here's a spot up video from a different day but the previous section you just watched was 14 minutes long to do all that this is more of a normal day um 
as you see me setting up the tube this day but um yeah this is sped up like 500 percent and this video took about 10 minutes and this is one of my takes of trying to explain this while walking through it but i do this in the morning i am not a morning person so these always end up crappy because i can't think in the morning so that's why i'm doing a voiceover at night whatever the whole first like hour of my mornings i'm useless i'm in zombie mode so um anyways me trying to do a video in the morning never ends up well but um uh, I just want to thank everyone for all the awesome comments on my last video, the video explaining everything. Um, like I said, it was an hour long video and uh, I had a uh, code word in there that uh, if you watched the whole video you would have seen. And the number of people who actually watched the whole video and had that code word in their comment was actually awesome. Made me very happy. I was a little worried about putting out an hour long video and sorry, cut off. But um, here you can see I'm actually priming the tube with the pump, which takes much longer. As you can see, it's about 500%, 500 times, and this still took how long to prime. But um, it was I was nervous about putting out an hour-long video and that people wouldn't watch the whole thing all the way through and that. But everybody seemed to watch it. Everybody had really nice comments. I was a little nervous about doing this. So um, if you guys like this stuff, let me know. And maybe I can do some little more videos on this. It's interesting. It's something you don't see every day. It's something different and it's educational I guess I mean it's been a learning experience for me so um yeah thank you guys for watching this video all the way through and that and uh yeah that's some more comments they were kind of nice to read I appreciate them I actually got to respond to a couple yet um but have a good day